Yes, now this is the circuit diagram for this uh, solar-powered nightlight, which is activated when it gets dark. And I'm basically using a buck converter, which, you know, they're pretty cheap, DC to DC buck converter, using a 6-volt, uh, it's actually 5 to 6-volt uh, solar cell. I've got two MGA, MJE13007 transistors, as you can see there and uh, one of the transistors pulls down the base voltage on the other transistor when there's light shining on the solar cell to keep the circuit turned off and it charges the battery at the same time as you can see there the battery is being charged through the solar cell and uh, this whole thing will run for several hours on a single charge so here we see it so what I've basically shown you is um, a jewel thief circuit, which is out there on the internet, you can uh, find that particular circuit using, um, and it uses a uh, transformer, the middle tap of the transformer, to uh, make the uh, coils for the jewel thief. You've got the two uh, coils that are wound in opposite directions, and uh, the secondary on the transformer is used to drive the 120 volt bulb, and the whole thing runs it probably around 16 kilohertz. I haven't really, I don't have an oscilloscope, so I haven't really measured it. And the, the little circuit that I was just holding in my hand, the prefab circuit, is the buck converter, and, and I think it's something like 2.5 to 35 volts down to about 1.5 to 30 volts at 3 amps. So it's a pretty handy little thing. And the, uh, the make and model of the uh, bulb is as uh, shown um, on, on the writing on that bulb. I'll just show you some close-ups of that to see that better. And here's the panel. That's a monocrystalline panel. Now I'm going to demonstrate bringing the solar cell out of the sunlight into a darkened area and which will show the light uh, turn on from the charge that's already accumulated in the rechargeable battery as you can see there. You can see how the light goes on and off when I bring it in and out of the darkness. So it's, uh, it's pretty responsive. So here's it in full darkness and it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's actually uh, almost full brightness when it's in complete darkness. So, uh, and I tested it, it ran for at least like five, six hours on one single battery.